Um, when did you come to Harlow and why did you come to Harlow? I came to Harlow in 2006 because I met my Mr. Wright, Dave Wright, and that's the reason we moved. We married in 2005, moved here from Redhorn, Redbourne, which is a small village in Hertfordshire, and we moved to Old Harlow. So that's the reason I moved here. And, and so 11 years, um, yeah. tell me about the 11 years, enjoying living here? Yes, when, obviously when I first came here I was commuting back and forwards to work. I lived in uh, Harpenden originally before Redbourne, so my job was in Harpenden. And so I was going back and forwards, but mum had dementia, so eventually I had to leave work uh, to help to take care of her with my sister and brother. So the times I wasn't taking care of mum, I actually threw myself into volunteering in a big way. Um, all sorts of things I did. I became a mentor for a young offender, which I loved. That was really nice, going on for about eight months and taking him out, getting him... It wasn't rewarding him for being naughty. It was trying to show him different avenues, let's put it that way. That can't have been easy. Uh, but I love children. He wasn't, to be honest, he wasn't a bad boy. He was a nice boy. And I think what happens is they try and guide them to the right path by you know introducing people like me at the time but unfortunately the funding went so I wasn't able to carry on after that but I loved working and if you want to say working as a guider with little girls who were rainbows five to six year olds before they might go on to be brownies or guys and I absolutely loved that for several years and they're so lovely it was really good two lots of different rainbows and I sang with well in harmony barbershop Chorus, joined Hartford Rock Choir. Uh, I still do, still sing the Hartford Rock Choir. Uh, dance a couple of times a week, we'd love to dance. Saracen's Rugby Club sponsors it. It was originally Hertfordshire County Council as part of the government's Get Active scheme. But uh, now Saracens support us, you know, sponsor us and so on. So we dance, we dance at Wembley, when they're at Wembley, we dance at Alliance Park when they're there. And with Rock Choir, they sing there as well, so they would sing at Wembley. So, so do you do a lot? Yes. Why? Well, that was because I'd moved, to be honest, I think it was, because I'd moved to a completely different place. And naturally I didn't know anyone at the time, and I'm a very sociable person and I kind of in a way left all my friends there that's not totally true because I'm able to drive and I would go back and forwards a lot to see them you know um, but being in Harlow I wanted to get involved so that's why all those volunteering things were part of finding different avenues for new friends and so on and I also worked at the Sue Ryder charity shop on a Saturday because I thought well fitting in the days in between taking care of mum I could do things and slot them in here and there you know but obviously certain things you have to be committed to but so I got to know Harlow better like that but when I actually retired in 2015 I joined the Harlow U3A and I just I was like a child in a sweet shop and literally I went to the first one at Easter 2015 and the whole hall was surrounded with their tables where they show all their activities. All the people there are welcoming you to join their group. So I joined this life writing group, scrapbooking group, creative writing, card making groups, cross stitch. Every, uh, life history, so many things, and I thought, oh dear, I've got a spare day. And that's how I find Harlow, because there's a lot going on. There's a lot going for Harlow, in my view, because there's so many shops. Okay, we live in Old Harlow, which is the old part, and you've got a nice little high street there, but we're just down from Elizabeth Way, where you've got all of the, well, you've got the cinema, all the big outlets, all the big shops, where a lot of people from Harlow and all the surrounding areas come into to shop. So um, I think it's brilliant. They've got lots of things going for it. And where you are in Old Harley, are you aware of the history of the surrounding Part of it. I, I, when I first moved, I read a book on Old Harlow. We, we live in Swallows, and it was actually named after, I think his name was John Swallows, I believe, for an, arch an architect involved in 
the building of, you know, the, the whole of Harlow, like my husband's dad, who came uh, from Brighton to Harlow as a plumber and helped to build all the houses in Harlow. That was back in 1955, and you just think, wow, there's some history to be proud of, all those houses built. And as a income, so to speak, that's yes. the majority of it. So are you aware of a sense of community, a sense of pride people have? I am. Yeah. Um, for instance, um, oh, there's so many instances. I suppose you could like an old Harlow to the old-fashioned type of village, couldn't you? And, you, you know, the, the co-op and the shops there, you know. And it's just very friendly. I smile at everyone anyway and say hello. Nearly always get the same hello back and good morning. And there's no... A bit, London can be the opposite, I know. I, I was a Londoner. So, you know, you, you, you can recognise the difference between people who just don't want to know you and people who are happy, happy to talk. And I, I do find that in Harlow. Wherever I go, if I go to the shops, water gardens, wherever, you, you get smiles, people, you know, always they're always happy to speak or whatever. You know, I always say I take after my mum, I talk to everyone, but it's not just me, people are friendly. So in conclusion, you're a social person, but you think Harlow naturally has a, is, a, is a right fit for social work because there's lots of socialising going on. Yes, I mean because my children for instance, my children grew up in Harpenden, so you're always known as so and so's mum. So when you when your children now like with the U3A it means obviously you know the ages, the first age is the children, the second age is bringing up your children, third age, U3A, University of the Third Age is you can do as you please really because you're the person doing as you please and and the the sense of community just within the U3A but with anything any sports or anything my husband is really into table tennis and he is so well from 11 and uh, the Norman Booth Centre and Bats the table tennis club it's the community there it's, it's the friendship and everything going for it and everyone supports each other yeah. Yeah.